Guys, I wish to take you through a simple process of performing filtering that is in Microsoft Access VBA and for that case we shall create a table before we shall create a table here using access therefore just go to create create here then table design we just create the ID number then the you can talk about the voter the voter the voter name the voter name then we want to have the contestants like for example we have uh, Peter we have James we have Benson we also have somebody like Joyce we have Paris we have Berinda therefore these are the contestants and therefore for that case this is yes no yes no yes no yes no yes no and also you can add another one guy here done uh, also this one is yes no so this is the primary key this is the primary key then I just save this uh, save this one as voters then after doing that i just go to this therefore this is how the design will look like then we just go and get some guys from microsoft excel therefore i have some data here therefore i just need to copy this copy this data then just uh, have this data pasted for me here good there we are ladies and gentlemen therefore these are the list of our voters and the id number and these are the contestants therefore these guys will be uh, ticking like that therefore they will be ticking the guy they vote and at the long run we shall filter uh, uh, people or these contestants using vba and therefore for that case let me just populate a, a form let's go to create then we go to form wizard then we just send everything to the right hand side next tabula next finish then let's just have that one done for us there we are ladies and gentlemen we just needed to adjust a bit just adjust these ones a bit so that they can have uh, some space if we can have this one the first guy here Let's just have that one. We can have the second one. Let's just adjust that. So that you can see exactly what I want to uh, show you. Then we have this other person, Joyce, and her button there. This is Benson. Then you can just adjust these ones. You can just adjust these ones. So this one is Peter, and then we have James. James there. Then after doing that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this one can be reduced to that then we can just uh, format this one to be vivid that way cool then after having done that one this is our uh, register where a person will just come and pick whoever they wish to have therefore my point of interest here is how we shall use vb uh, that is vba to populate as if I want to see Peter's votes, James votes, Benson that way, how can I accomplish that? And therefore for that Okay, so guys after now coming up with uh, this form here, we need to uh, populate reports we want to populate report to see voters who voted for uh, uh, individual guys here 
and therefore what you need to do is to uh, you need to to actually create another query here yeah? create then you go to uh, query query wizard then you create a query from the voters table therefore just have the query just have it that way therefore this is our query voters query one then uh, we need to create a report therefore you just go to create then report wizard we need to have the id number and the voter only just go to next next here we can use uh, id number in a setting order then next we need it to be tabula next then finish therefore this is what we have we have we can delete this we, we can delete that one therefore this is what we have this this is the list of voters and their id number you can just have this one uh, this one taken to the other side that way good therefore this is what we have just format a bit these are our voters good so we want to only see voters who vote a certain guy and therefore for that case you can just rename this one you can rename this one to peter for example this one you can just rename this one to peter list then copy paste then this one can be berinda uh, paste another one then this one is for done you can use those ones so uh, we shall introduce a code we shall introduce a code here this code is called me dot filter equals to the field and the condition and therefore i copy this code that one then i go to one of my reports like berinda right click go to design view then go to property sheet here then event then you go on road here on road event that is on road event here on road event hit the three dots then paste the code here therefore this one changes to berinda berinda we are filtering berinda with which condition yes the condition is yes this field since it takes it's good to and cross it there therefore i only need to copy this code then I save my stuff that way. Then go back to this. Therefore, if I run this one, so far there is no voter who has uh, voted Berinda, and therefore I need to go to the voters uh, form and vote. Therefore, there are these guys who have, have voted Berinda. Those ones. Those are the guys who have voted Berinda, and therefore for that case, if you refresh this and cross then open berinda there we are ladies and gentlemen you notice that these are the guys who have voted for berinda therefore let's go to dawn then go to design view of the same go to on road event procedure hit the three dots paste your code there and then change this one to dawn this is dawn you want to see those ones who uh, voted for done and therefore we save that one and uh, execute therefore if i execute that one just a moment if i execute that one let's just have uh, that is design view let's just fix yeah there is this part also this part and sub if our code remains like that so that um, uh, so that when we, we go to our system and open it we open our system that way we go to dawn we shall be in a position to see uh, that so far dawn has been voted by two guys and therefore you can still uh, add you see now it is true we have two guys who voted done therefore you can add other guys uh, here then refresh 
and then we follow the of this one. There we are. Therefore, you'll be in a position to see that um, our code is working. Last three, we go to Peter, go to Design View, then just go to. Oh, we have the database opened. If we just go to this property sheet event, then we go to on road, hit the three dots, paste the code, paste the code, then change this one to Peter. Yes, for this is Peter. Peter. Peter, yes. Therefore, that is the VBA. Then from there, you can just cross that one and run. Therefore, you'll be in a position to see there is no, vote, uh, no voter who has voted Peter in. And therefore, you can just go and vote. You can just go and vote for Peter. Therefore, you can select these guys who have voted for Peter. Refresh. Then also refresh. There we are. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, that's how uh, you do filtering using VBA by help of uh, this simple code that is uh, me dot filter equals to the field and then the condition me dot filter on true therefore that's how you perform the filtering ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching remember to subscribe if you haven't done so and also you can share these videos to your friends so that they can also learn something thank you very much